Chevy's two months old. Are you guys ready to see our surprise guest? Chevy's ready for his first Niners game with daddy. It just pisses me off so much that people get behind the wheel when they're drinking and, you know, risking not only their own life, but everybody around them. Good morning. <laughs> you ready to get up? Yeah. Hi, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> we're like the kids and he's like our dad and he always finds like fun adventures and things for us to go see <laughs> stop you're gonna make me pee <laughs> We're going back on the road again, and I'm so excited. Wanted to give you guys a quick RV tour before we start loading her up. We got a bigger one this time, and I'm so excited because, dude, this one got space, mama. We got a whole ass master room back here, and a whole closet, and I'm really excited for a bigger bathroom. Dude, there's even a tub in here like this is way bigger than the last one we got if y'all haven't watched our last rv trip video i'll link them right here for you so you can go catch up right now these go out when you're parked you can extend these out but then when you're driving you got to put them back in that's why this side also looks really wide right now and we have a special guest coming along with us this time stay tuned for the guest reveal guess who's two months today Chevy's two months old. Oh my goodness. You want to show our friends your fit? It says, hey pumpkin. We're making it a tradition every month for Chevy to get a cupcake and blow out his little candle. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see our surprise guest? In three, two, one. <laughs> Aloha kakahiaka. Calls us back. Chevy's ready for his first Niners game with daddy. <laughs> JK, we're gonna be posted up right here, man. Waiting for these guys to have the time of their life. This is Eldon's. <laughs> this is Eldon's bucket list dream. Show them your little outfit. Are you a little Niners gang? First Niners game was a success. In Kozo, heading back to Cass. It was a experience of a lifetime. Hopefully he'll be back. Hi silly boy. Hi silly boy. Are you smiling? Big mood. <laughs> Look, Koi's here. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, you guys. The boys just got home from the game. I got a little lemon pepper wing moment. I'm so excited. I literally haven't eaten all day. I'm so starving. I'm about to chow the house down boots. Good morning. Hi. Hi. A little stretch. Yeah. 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 Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you ready to get up? Yeah. Come in. Fruit. Would you catch tie pods on there? Is that grapes? We're looking at it. Can you go pick one? 
We think it's like apples or nectarines. Orange apples. Y'all, look at this freaking view that we just woke up to. We're in Napa Valley, y'all. This is Kozo's friend's vineyard, and that's his house up there. Thanks to him for allowing us to stay at his beautiful guest house. This is so freaking breathtaking. <coughs> no farts. <coughs> no. <coughs> no farts? <coughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, go. <coughs> No? You ready to change your diaper? We got a clean diaper for you. We got a clean diaper. You ready? Hi, Bubba. Oh. <laughs> Babe, look. She just put her head on his head. <laughs> Are you swimming, Goa? Are you swimming, Goa? This is Goa's favorite thing to do, and he's on carpet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a little ladybug. Coffee with a view. We're gonna have views on views this whole trip. He's chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Koso babysitting? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll trade you. <laughs> goods for goods. We got a little brekkie going on. I didn't even get to catch up with you yesterday because um, we were rushing to the Bay Area so that Eldon and Koza would make it on time for the game. But the night before when we were heading up, um, it was crazy. Like, it was such a scary night. Are you scary? Oh, no, no. What's the matter? What's the matter? Wait, who's out this? Mine. Can mommy story time right now or no? No? Okay, we'll be back. Mom life. So anyway, uh, we were driving on the highway or freeway and a MF freaking drunk driver hit us and it was coming from behind and we thought a tire blew out. So Eldon kind of swerved a little bit into the other lane. And then Eldon was like, wait, I think that guy just hit us cause it like jolted the whole RV and it was so scary. That is literally my biggest fear. Like not just with us, but with the baby and the piggies like oh my god i was freaking the f out so then after he hit us from like the rear back he like sped up and was swerving all over the road in front of us he was driving so fast so then eldon was following him so that we could try and get the license plate number and then i called 911 and i was on the phone with them and then he exited and he was driving so recklessly so we followed him for i want to say a couple miles um and then the cops were like okay now that you got their license like just stop following them and pull over so um the cops came to our location to come get a report and it was just such a scary night and it pushed us back a few hours so that's why i didn't even really vlog much yesterday because i was so tired i literally only slept one hour from the whole like day before so i was exhausted so luckily they were able to get the address from the plates and we'll probably find out if they update the report for us i don't know i'm not sure i don't know how that works but um yeah that was scary but thank god we're all okay and it just pisses me off so much that people get behind the wheel when they're drinking and you know risking not only their own life but everybody around them so yeah, I'm just so grateful and super thankful that we are okay. And um, the damage isn't too bad on the RV. Like if it was in a car, obviously it would have been way worse. But luckily we can continue on our road trip. And um, oh, that was really, really scary. But yeah, we made it to the bay safely. And then we spent the day there and then we came up to Napa. So we are here for the day and now we're going to head up like two-ish more hours. I think it would be fun to upload like on the trip as we go so that you guys can find out where we're going next and next. But I can't wait to get to our final destination. Like we've been wanting to visit this place for a few years now. And it's like one of those viral TikTok places. Like, I don't know if you guys have any guesses, let us know in the comments below. Cause I wanna see if anyone guesses it, but I'm so, 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 so excited. We're gonna be spending Thanksgiving day there. Um, so we'll be there in a few days, but Hopefully we can get Wi-Fi tonight so I can edit this video quickly and have it up. Golden hour is hidden right now. So beautiful. If you guys hear snoring in the background, y'all already know it's Ms. Maui. A little snore baby. You guys, look how pretty this guest room is, especially at this hour. So pretty. 
and dreamy. Kozo picked a fruit and it's a persimmon. These are bomb. I didn't know the tree looks like that. It's so pretty. Literally, the camera does no justice, but this view is incredible. Wow. Oh my gosh. Check out this, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Why are you guys peeping Tom's? This is Kozo's friend's house. Well, his client in Hawaii. <laughs> Dang, this is so sick. Yeah, you can try it. And if not, throw it off. It's gonna get wasted anyway. It's a but pomegranate. You're a vegan. You're limited on food sources. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that one. Yeah, you're right. That one should be right. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, there's actual olives on the tree. I've never seen that before. Can I pick one? You think it's ready? How does it I may see the purple ones How does this work? Like can you just eat it like that or you have to like cook yeah, it? I'm sure you can. Try it. It's edible. You gotta wash your first. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. We're finally going to Dutch Bros. How excited are you from one to 10? For what, Dutch Bros? Dutch Bros. <laughs> We've been talking about going to Dutch Bros for weeks and we're finally, finally coming across one in eight minutes. Babe, let me see what you got. <laughs> you got a special delivery? <laughs> we made it to Dutch Bros. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We only have like one location in SoCal, which is really far from us. So we've been waiting since our last road trip to come back. Oh my gosh, you guys, the moment of truth. I'm so excited. I got the candy cane latte, half sweet, and this is bussin'. It is so freaking good. Also, shout out to Samantha if you're seeing this. She works at this Dutch Bros, but she's one of our subscribers and she was so, so sweet. You love your new beds, huh? They're so comfy, huh? As soon as we got these, they literally both jumped inside them. <laughs> they didn't want to come out. These are hands down the most woke dog beds we've ever had in all of our dog years. They have these handles so that you can easily lift them inside the car and then you can also buckle them in. To the seats and secure them they're from this brand pet awesome i'll link them down below for you guys we got them on amazon they're truly the most innovative dog carrier slash beds and they're so comfy as you guys can see <laughs> they love them they also have a couple different colors but these would be such a great christmas gift if you have friends or family with pets because dude i wish we found these sooner they are amazing eldon just took us to this place called turtle bay exploration park are there turtles here <laughs> what do we come for? The bridge. Oh. We have a live band over there. We got the vibes going, Koa. <gasps> wow. This is cool. What location are we? Like, what city? Redding. Redding, California, y'all. This is a sundial bridge. It's an actual oh. sundial. Wow, that's cool. And if you come at <gasps> night, I think they said the floor is LED light up. Oh my gosh, we gotta come back. We got this stroller wagon on Amazon. I'll link this down below for you guys too. We can put the car seat on the top and then the pups on the bottom. He can't walk as much as Maui girl. So now he's gonna be loving life. He's going under. <laughs> is he? Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> Swans? Oh yeah. Babe, you're so good at finding stuff. 
know, someone has to find it. <laughs> he told Kozo to look up stuff for us to do. What did you find? We're like the kids, and he's like our dad, and he always finds like fun adventures and things for us to go see. <laughs> Was this good? Yeah. <laughs> sure. We got chipotle for lunch. He can't really see all the goods on the bottom, but I got sofritas, a little bowl moment. I then got a burrito. That's a big boy. And some chips and guac. So excited. Does this view look familiar, babe? Yeah. On the way back up to Mount Shasta. Last time we passed through here, it was like the sun was rising and it was so beautiful. Wow. Like snow patches? Yeah. Is there snow? Not right now, huh? No. On the top, top. Oh, it's so beautiful. I've always wanted to come up north during like fall and autumn and see all the foliage. Foliage or foliage? <laughs> I guess if you're fancy, you can say foliage. Ooh, wow. Oh, Lake Shasta. Shasta? Oh, Shasta Lake. No, Lake Shasta. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness. They said comfy AF. I just drive, you guys told me where to go. Go. You know where I want to go. Where? Oh, we're way far from there. Where? Seattle? <laughs> Freaking. What? Trust the tarn. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Ignoring us. I said you guys have to come up with a place and I'll drive there. Mm. Can you see if there's a waterfall? Maybe? Clama? Clamming? Mm. Clamming? I think that's out of the way. It takes trees to me. He was so talkable right before the camera. Yeah. Me? Shotgun a beer. I did. Both you guys. I didn't get small. Shotgun another one. <laughs> <laughs> she has the footage though now. What? I said she, she has the footage now. <laughs> Stop. You're gonna make me pee. What's up? You ready for my venture? You ready to go cruising? Oh no, not the sock. <laughs> oh, the sock went bye bye. Oh. You ready to go? You ready to go Washington? Road trip? Yeah? <laughs>